What's up guys, Zach Man doing another video update uh, today. It is February 5th, 2019. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Tron right away. So if you look at the chart right here, look, we just hit a uh, little bit of a support right here. So um, we'll probably see a bounce here in the next 24 hours. Obviously kind of head way back up to some resistance up here. So expect a bounce if you want to play this a uh, little bit of a, a long term, go for it. Um, probably head up to right around you know, 820 to 840 Satoshis probably. Uh, so it'd be a good little bounce play anyways, real quick on that, uh, which is pretty positive. So HOLO, uh, again, we're kind of following the uh, 20, 100, 20, 100, 200 day moving average right now. And the 50 day moving average is kind of a little bit of a support as well. So it looks like we hit a little bit of a higher high and a little bit of a lower high right here so far. So probably expect a bounce off of that. Uh, Bitcoin, um, it kind of broke through this wedge right here. We're kind of following the 200 day moving average right now. Zoom in a little bit, so we're just above it. Let me click on it here. Oh, yeah, so we're just above it right now. Uh, could see a little bit of a breakout up to the um, some resistance up here and then followed by another uh, downtrend as well. BTT, um, controlling BitTorrent. I recently did a little bit of a thing on this yesterday. Not really much of a thing. Just made a comment. Um, somebody's asking about, well, obviously if it's going to crash or whatever, which I suspect it would. But as of right now, before the airdrop, I don't. It will, it will after the airdrop for sure, or leading right up to it anyways. But I think we could see it probably hitting 40, 50 Satoshis before then. They'll probably be staying above the 50-day moving average as well. Um, we probably hit a low right here, and we'll probably see a little bit of a higher higher followed by a lower low, and then a higher high, and then finally probably a little crash back down to the 200-day moving average, just depending on uh, where it's at before the February 11th, as far as that goes. So I wasn't going to get into it, but I did, uh, so I'm into it. I got it in right around uh, 23 Satoshis, I believe it was, right, 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 and I got into it. So I'm a little bit up today, but we'll see how far. Like I said, uh, you know, as long as it's above the 200-day moving average, I'd you know try to jump in uh, right now. Obviously, be ideal, but between 24 and uh, 25, 26 satoshi is probably a good thing to get into because I can see it uh, definitely going for a higher high. Um, but then again, it's gonna probably drop right after the first airdrop on the 11th. So uh, cash out uh, as soon as you can for that. Anyways, I would anyways. And then uh, as far as Bitcoin goes, uh, basically I found this little article right here talks about uh, the volume. Since 2018, as you kind of see with Coinbase BTC uh, versus the USD hits lows uh, well below May 2017. So like I said, you can kind of see the drop declined up until where we're at right now. So the volume has really declined. So like I said, I think we're getting really closer to the bottom here with Bitcoin. You know, I, I think it still can get to like, you know, 3100. But um, once it hits that, we should start seeing the gradual up decline. Um, leading into 2020 and then 21 uh, probably have a big breakout of beating the previous high and then kind of go from there and then you know I don't know how high it's going to go but it's going to go a little bit higher obviously and then the decline of the end probably of 2022 20, I don't know somewhere in that ballpark but uh, yeah so I thought this was a little cool little article anyways uh, talking about the volume and obviously there's another exchange uh, that talks about how they're having a little bit of a growth right now in the last three months, obviously not so, so much uh, as far as January, but uh, they've experienced a little bit of a growth. Uh, it's a Hong Kong-based crypto exchange. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.